Today I am checking on all of my weak hives and the couple hives that were struggling with their queen to see how they're doing. So I figured I'd take you guys along um, on the journey because after at the end of this video, I might have to make a really hard decision. If you've been following along, then you know one of my hives has been really struggling ever since winter. Um, they haven't been able to keep a queen. For some reason, she either keeps dying, they keep killing her, she keeps getting lost. Something keeps happening to her. I've introduced a, a queen to them and it looked like they accepted her, but then she's not there. I could never find her. So she could have gotten lost or maybe they just didn't like her and they killed her. But I've been fighting with this hive for like two or three months now. So the decision might be if I don't find a queen when I open up this hive, I might have to just shake out this entire hive and just call it quits because it's getting a little late in the bee season. And last time I checked, they didn't have much food either. So stick around because this might be a sad video or it might be a happy video. I don't know. The outcome will, we will just see and we will find out. <laughs> Since I'm already out here um, at this bee yard, I have three different places that I keep my bees. I'm gonna check on two hives here that last time I checked, one had a virgin queen, so I just wanna make sure she's laying. And the other one, I saw that there was a queen that hatched because I saw that she ripped out of her, her cell, but I didn't find her when I looked through it, so I need to make sure something's going on in this hive. All right, not a whole lot of action, which makes me nervous. <laughs> and this is when I realized something really bad had happened. It looks like I have my very first laying worker colony. <laughs> well, that's great. <laughs> All right, so how can I tell that this is a laying worker colony? Well, I will show you. Okay, so I'm looking inside at the eggs and the larva. And do you see that cell right there in the middle that has three eggs? Well, you're probably thinking, well, maybe the, the queen made a mistake. Well, here's another one with three eggs and two eggs. Let's see, there's one with a larva and another egg. Two larvas, two larvas. Yeah, all of these cells have more than one larva or egg inside them. And that is the tell on whether you have a laying worker colony. But there is one thing that I am seeing on this frame that is promising. They are still trying to make a queen. So they have a queen cell here, a queen cell there. And they have a queen cell right here too that have eggs in them which tells me they're trying to make a queen they're not going to do a very a very good job at it <laughs> but they're trying so that being said i am going to try to put in a couple frames of milk brood from one of my strong hives to see if maybe the pheromone from the milk brood that it releases will help them stop laying eggs and make their ovaries pretty much disappear um, and see if they can make a queen out of that. And yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see. If not, then <laughs> this wasn't the hive I was thinking I was going to have to shake out, but we'll see what happens when I put the milk brood in. hive that I feel okay, okay taking so I'm gonna check a different one okay so I found one frame that I could throw in there okay. now let's see if I can find a second one. Oh, I see a capped queen some reason they want a new queen. Two capped queens. Huh. Are 
you thinking what I'm thinking? And a third queen, fourth queen started, wait, four, five, six, holy smokes. I think these ones are trying to swarm. These are all at the bottom corner. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You thinking what I'm thinking? I think maybe we should cut out one of these queens and put it in that hive. This video has turned out to be really interesting because what turned into a check on weak hives turned into a leg worker colony. And now I'm about to cut out my first queen to put into this hive. <laughs> so I'll show you. I have a queen over here that you can see. One of them I accidentally opened up when I moved the frame, which I'm kind of upset about, but there's two right there and then a cup on the end. And then there's one right there in the middle. I'm definitely leaving that one because it's probably a super seizure cell. And you can't see it, but there's two more cups over here because the bees are on it. So I'm gonna cut out this one down here. This is gonna be a little interesting because I do not have a knife on me. So probably gonna have to use my hive tool. Honestly, I'm probably, since they're so close together, I'm gonna cut out both of those, including that cup. And I'm gonna put it in this hive. So, stay tuned. Haha! <laughs> -ha. Well, it's my lucky day. Guess who has a knife? Heck yes. Let's sterilize this. Luckily, I have some wonky comb. So that kind of worked out in my favor. Actually. <laughs> Just like that. There we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is these two frames are my frames of milk brood that I just threw in here. And then I have this empty frame that I'm gonna put in right here. This frame is the one that has some more cells on it or some more queen cups on it. There's actually one right there. Um, it's not capped, it's just a, a queen cup with a larva inside. So I'm gonna put the queen right next to that, that uh, frame, just so that all the eggs, brood, and the queens are all right next to each other. And then, um, I'm gonna put the camera down for this because I gotta do it very carefully, but I'm gonna put this little cutout very carefully right in between these two frames. I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so I took a little stick just because it helped me hang it there when I was putting the frames together. But I just put the stick through the top. You don't have to do that. And I just put her in between the two frames. I was very careful so that she's not squished. So we will see what happens. This is a recap. I put in two frames of milk brood. And then I pretty much put in two queen cups and two uh, fully capped queens. So I don't know. We'll see if this helps a laying worker colony. Nah, we'll see. Okay, this is the hive I've been waiting to look at all day. <laughs> this is my trouble hive that has been causing me so many headaches ever since winter. So it was my weakest hive going into winter. It was my even weaker hive coming out of winter. And oh, geez, spider web. <laughs> and it's been struggling ever since for some reason. Every single time they make a queen, she either dies, gets lost, maybe they kill her. I don't know, something keeps happening to her. And I gave them a new queen. It looked like they accepted her, but now she's not there. So, it's time to finally check to see what's going on with this hive because if, if nothing, if they still don't have a queen, then I'm probably going to have to just shake this whole, whole entire hive out and just call it quits. So. Well, they already have this entire super almost filled, surprisingly. <laughs> I guess if they have nothing else to do, they might as well make honey. <laughs> yes! 
All right, this hive is gonna make it. You see those? One egg per cup. That means I don't have a laying worker colony, but there is a queen present. Thank goodness, yes. Man, you have no idea how good it feels to finally see that this hive is on the path to doing better. So I found eggs, larvae, brood, and I saw the queen. I tried to get her on video, but she's being very skittish and shy today and does not like any pictures. So we're looking good. Well, today sure turned out to be interesting. Okay, now I have a laying worker colony, my first ever. This is gonna be really interesting. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because you're gonna wanna know if what I did works. I'm definitely gonna be posting updates on this. So stay tuned and I will see you soon.